One slave can have multiple transmit and receive frames. The Lin Master can manage up to 16 slaves on one bus. The message ID field will define which of the slaves will react to the transmitted message. Typical Lin Masters are the door module, the steering wheel module, the HVAC controller, and the smart junction box. When the schedule table becomes too long, or if the number of slaves is too big, one Lin Master can also control multiple Lin buses. A major benefit of the simplicity of the Lin network is that software development can be avoided. Simple Lin slaves that act as I.O. extensions and switch modules can be configured quickly and simply by configuring the data eSquare PROM during end-of-line programming. This is demonstrated using the example of steering wheel switch module. The I.O.s of the Lin slave are configured for four single switches to ground, two rotating encoders, three PWM outputs for functional lights or backlighting, and one analog input. The switch debounce time is set to 20 milliseconds. A first slave-to-master message is configured with four data bytes. The switch information is assigned to byte 0, the analog input is assigned to byte 1, and the rotating encoder values are assigned to bytes 2 and 3. A second master-to-slave message is configured with four data bytes that are configured for receiving the three PWM duty cycle values. In a similar way for a door switch module, the Lin slave can be configured to read more than 20 switches in a matrix. The Lin slave can wake up the Lin bus when any of the switches is pressed. Avoiding software development also implies guaranteed quality without software validation and qualification. The LIN standard allows vehicle manufacturers to add functionality and extend comfort packs with minimum development cost and to react faster to new requests in the market.